hello everyone welcome back if you're coming back or welcome if this is the first video that you're watching my name is Tori and today I'm going to be talking about five different tips okay there are six six different tips on how to build a website that can actually convert for you so let's get right into it so the first thing that I definitely recommend is having the contact me or your phone number very visible. If you are a restaurant, it needs to be like within that first header bar. If you are more of um, book me now, you still want to have it in that first section of your website. So have your contact me or book me now service readily available for the people that go to your website. Because if they have to spend too much time trying to figure out your email or phone number and then they're not gonna contact you because it's just too inconvenient. So definitely have that contact me visible in that first header. The second thing is your about us. So I would suggest that your website completely has an about us section. But what you want to focus on in this section is not just where you come from and um, how long you've been in business, not those basic things. I want you to focus on your why. What makes you different? Why do you do what you do? What drove you to this? About, like, I want your about me section to be, oh my gosh, so, so, um, bring people to their emotions, bring like strike them to their core, show them that you have the purpose, whatever your grand purpose is in your life. We kind of call that like the big dream or the 10 years down the line goal, right? Like whatever that is, your why, who you plan on giving back to when you make your success. Those are the things that I want you to be able to focus on for your about me section. Okay. And Numero three, keep all the language on your website results driven. You want to highlight the results of your clients, the results of your methods, the results of the programs, the results of um, the whatever you're trying to sell or get people to be attracted to from your website you want to focus on the results and very analytical. So when we, I don't know if you guys know SMART goals, but basically it's specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and the time that you want to do it in. So all of those things should be covered with that results driven language of what specifically are, can they achieve from what you're selling? What, uh, measurable how much of it can they achieve so are you taking people from be able to do 10 push-ups to 25 or 10 minute ab workouts to now you can work out for an hour or just whatever that is for you you want to make sure that is very specific measurable attainable realistic and oh I'm sorry the R is for reward what is the reward that you're gonna have after so you want to definitely show as the people are, you know, I, I help people lose weight or something like that. And the reward that they have for themselves is a nice vacation where they get to wear their bikini that they haven't worn in years or something like that. So I would suggest that you have all of those language use those smart goals to make sure that you have every single piece of that language focus on your website if your website does not need to say anything extra then what service you're trying to promote and those and those smart goals associate this not the smart goals but the smart system that you have to achieve those goals so the number four tip 
that I have for you guys is to include testimonials on your website. Now this might seem like a no-brainer, but you want to have as many video testimonials as possible. Millennials are known for not being readers and we are content, content, um, we bring in, obtain, use, view the most amount of content out of all the other generations. Our generation is very content driven and it's very visual content. So we want to have those video testimonials ready for them. Any of the ideas that you want to have, if you're selling a package on your website, make a video of you explaining that package. Do not rely on people to read anything anymore. Words are nice and words are great, but don't rely on people to read them. They're just there <laughs> kind of to look nice so that it's not just one video. But I guarantee you that the people that go onto your website, if they're millennials, if you're targeting millennials, if you're targeting older people, I would say older than 40, so 40 and up, then you would still want to make sure that the language on your site is very professional, is very, um, is very still in line with what you're saying in those videos. However, the text is not as important these days. So keep that in mind. If you want to share something important, share it in a video because it will get to people faster. People are not gonna read, and by people, I mean the, the um, younger generation that's coming up now. They're not going to read all of those things that you're trying to explain to them unless you can show me and I can hear you and I can understand you it's not gonna work so use video testimonials and for your testimonials you want to make sure that they are using those smart system that I just described to you so making sure they're being specific about what they attained measurable results that they got from you it's actually attainable obviously because they attained it what reward did they get on the inside from being able to do that or attain that goal and then what time frame did it take them to get there so for those testimonials you definitely want to take that smart approach as well also, I would suggest on your website that you have an email list campaign going. So anyone that reads, that reaches your website, you want to be able to have a chance to grab them and hold them for life. And one good way to do that is through their email address, their phone number. There's a lot of different follow-up ways that you can work that out. And you get those through like your low-hanging fruit offers, as I call them, or your um, free downloadables, or your um, watch this free one-hour webinar. I know you guys have heard all those pitches. Watch those free one-hour webinar and we'll send it to your email address, or you get a free PDF download of our blah, 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 blah. Those things might sound cheesy, but right now they still work. And those are an introduction to you. But it's not, those are not what is going to get you the sales, but getting those email addresses from those people so you can retarget them with campaigns that you have, or you can follow them all around the internet with the, with the ways that I'll show you just from using their email address and different analytical and pixels and you know different different tracking devices in in that way also for the number oh also for building your email campaign if you guys don't have an email campaign right now get one um get a free downloadable figure out five tips that you can share with your audience that shows that you are an expert. Um, you could also do a giveaway. So I need you guys to you know, follow me on my Instagram, YouTube, um, and subscribe to my email list for a chance to win this 
$5 Starbucks gift card or whatever you choose to do as your giveaway, that is definitely two different ideas for you to start an email list with. Then the sixth, <laughs> I will do it like this, sixth one that I have for you because I have my paper full of all my notes that I'm referring to. The sixth one that I have for you is have your language on your page customer focused. It is all about them. It's all about the results. It is all about um, what you, how you are an expert and how you being an expert can help them get to the next phase or get to the next stage in their life. So those are the six tips that I have for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put a bonus one in there as if you can use PayPal or, um, or a very reputable Stripe is another one, Square. If you can use a very reputable pay service on your website, that also helps and that helps people convert with you faster. So if they don't have to enter in their credit card because it's already on PayPal, I'm not gonna use my middle finger. <laughs> Uh, they're not gonna use their they don't want to put in their credit card or they're on the laptop and their um, wallet is in the other room having an access like paypal or um having a system like that integrated onto your website where the less amount of barriers that they have to exit that's gonna help your conversion rate so having to having to go into the other room for your wallet is going to catch some of the people and they may not convert as well right so you want to avoid different things like that that can kind of help you streamline everything so i hope that those tips are going to help you build a website that will convert for you and if they did please leave a comment down below let me know if you have any questions We'll be back with more very soon. Bye.